Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today we are making these chocolate Nutella cupcakes. These are also shaped like Mickey Mouse too, which is a nice plus. Thank you so much Jennifer Silva for requesting these on one of my videos. A lot of you guys really wanted to see them, so today we are making them. The frosting on these is so good, you guys. It is super light and fluffy, but it still has a great Nutella flavor too. If you love Nutella, you are going to love these cupcakes, and I mean like who doesn't love Nutella? So let's get started. First off, you're going to need one and a half sticks of softened butter. And we're going to go ahead and get that nice and creamy. Then I'm going to add in two thirds cups of white sugar, along with two thirds cups of brown sugar. I like using a mix of white sugar and brown sugar. I find that the brown sugar gives our cake a nice richness. Once it is nice and light and fluffy, we're going to crack in two eggs one at a time and you want to mix after each addition. This is my new favorite chocolate cupcake recipe. I just got it from Ina Garden when I was watching her show. I love all of her recipes. I swear they all turn out really yummy and these are no exception. They are super moist and chocolatey. You guys are going to love them. Anyways, here I am adding in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna mix that in too. Now for our mix of wet ingredients that are really gonna lock that moistness into our cake. Here I have a cup of buttermilk along with a half cup of sour cream and two tablespoons of coffee. You guys know I love adding coffee to my chocolate desserts. It really gives them that super deep, rich, chocolatey flavor. Also, don't worry if your mixture has lumps in it. The buttermilk and sour cream definitely won't go completely smooth. Now in a separate bowl, you're going to need one and three quarters cups of flour, one cup of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then just give this all a whisk. Now time to put it all together. I'm gonna add half my dry mixture to the creamed butter and sugar mixture. And I'm just gonna mix that in. Then I'm going to add in all of the wet ingredients and mix those in too. Then I'm going to finish it off with the rest of the dry ingredients and mix it all up. Now time to fill our cupcake liners. Here I'm using an ice cream scoop to make it nice and easy. You might have noticed that there is actually no Nutella in the cupcakes, but before you get upset, it's because Nutella doesn't really lend itself to a good cupcake. It doesn't quite have the right composition, but it is perfect for the frosting. Anyways, now we're just going to bake these off at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. These cupcakes will fill your house with that yummy homemade chocolate cupcake scent, and I swear it is 100 times better than any candle you can buy. While our cupcakes are cooling, let's make the frosting. First, I'm going to melt down 3 quarters cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Then in a separate bowl, you'll need 2 sticks of softened butter. And just get those nice and creamy. Now we're going to add in one and a half cups of powdered sugar. This recipe is great because it doesn't use too much powdered sugar, so you don't get that really stiff, super sweet buttercream icing. All right, now we're going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and just mix that in too. Now I'm going to add in that cooled melted chocolate from earlier. This is going to make our frosting super glossy and also pack a really nice chocolatey flavor. You can probably tell by this video that I definitely love my chocolate fix. And now it is finally time for our Nutella. Here I'm using a third cup of it. This is the perfect amount for it to not get too sweet but also have a nice hazelnut flavor and give our frosting a really smooth texture. Now to lighten the frosting up a little bit, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of milk and just mix that in. This is definitely my new favorite frosting, guys. It is super light and fluffy, and it has a really nice texture too that's not that really stiff buttercream like I mentioned earlier. All right, so here I have just loaded it into a pastry bag fitted with a star tip. And today I'm doing a really simple classic cupcake swirl. Now for a kawaii touch, I'm going to add in two large candy melts for some ears. The candy melts tend to look a little bit dusty at first, but if you rub them, that will definitely come off. And of course we have to have some sprinkles for a little bit of color, and you're done. 
cupcakes are finished guys these look so cute I really didn't intend for them to be like Mickey Mouse cupcakes I wanted them to be like bear cupcakes but once I put the ears in it's like well this is obviously Mickey Mouse so might as well call it what it is also don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next time this is really fun to do a subscriber requested video and I really want to do more in the future anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you all and I'll see you next time bye guys Thanks so much for watching. Click below for more videos and don't forget to subscribe for more cute recipes. Talk to you soon.